in this video I will finish up the metal here um, you can see I took this piece off I usually put uh, marks just take a pencil and mark where the metal was before so you know where it goes when you go back to put it on just simply mark um, the top of the metal and it looks like I put some type of a 2x4 brace down here to um, help the metal to prevent it from caving in and the first piece of metal that's going to go on and if you can if you notice it lines up almost with the top of this I kind of uh, fixed my mistake from the one over here I don't have any debris trap here and no one's going to get hurt on the metal hopefully and it looks like I notched around the bottom here this piece right here should uh, provide you with that obvious clue notched it around the concrete footing and I'm gonna have to bend this back a little bit um, and then this piece right here is going to get bent. It's not really going to look that nice when I'm done with it and I'm not too worried about it. You know, um, maybe if it was on my side of the property, I would have worried about it. Uh, okay, guilty as charged, you know, not that uh, not that much of a perfectionist when I'm not going to be looking at it. And uh, so this is going to have to get bent. See there where I put a screw in here. And there's what it looks like the abortion when it is finished there so you can do it you want to cut it do it take a trim it up if you ever had to do something like this knock yourself out um, uh, and, and you can see here where this piece went on first and this one is overlapping it and we have the same thing here everything's overlapping the water that's going to come down here is going to continue down it's not going to have a place where it can get uh, into um, at least not that way I mean if you have enough water you're not, not going to be able to avoid it unless you were to seal these corners but if you have water just in the soil the water is going to be able to go around here it's just if the water is flowing from my other neighbor's backyard in, in this direction this is going to be better and we like better so I'm just going to kind of whip through a couple pictures here you can see where I have attached it everything is going the way that I wanted it to go here another view of it there and on the other side here you can see the post here and when I backfill some of the dirt that's going to help with the support and uh, hopefully last a long time sun is going down so coming towards the end of the day and I'm going to have to get the dirt off of here. Like I said uh, in one of the videos earlier, I'm going to have to raise this up. Um, otherwise, it would, uh, it you know, if I left this where it was and backfilled this with dirt, then this support post is going to rot faster. And this is actually a um, pretty important post for this section of the fence here. And I don't really want to be replacing it sooner than later. So I'm going to have to keep the, the dirt away from it. And here's the other side of the other piece of metal the corner this is the back corner where I only got a few boards on this side and then my other neighbors properties over here where the water is coming from and the screws on the other side I had to pull them out and put smaller screws in just to be aware of that again you don't want uh, people to get hurt touching them as they're gardening or even repairing the fence and I just went ahead, I think this was my fourth day working on the fence. I went ahead and just sealed it off. I don't know if I was going to be working the next day on it. I'm going to give my neighbor some privacy. So again, this works out great. If you do something like this in sections and you have your string you can use as a guideline, you don't have to tear the whole fence down. You can build it in sections. And you know what? Hey, I'm not going to work on it for a week. Or you do this on a weekend and uh, you put this thing back together, uh, you know, go back to work and uh, hit it again on the weekend the next weekend so that's it for this video I will put a link to the next video up here somewhere and uh, if you're enjoying the series so far or even parts of it you know what to do hit the old thumbs up button or leave a comment in the comment area